All right, so today we're going to talk about AVL trees. And let's go over some of the code that you'll need to use to write an AVL tree. So we're going to start with our node class. This is the same node class that we've used um, in other situations. You've seen it before. But our AVL tree, of course, has two different children. And so we're going to have a left and a right uh, node that we're going to link to. And then to make life easy for our tree, we're also, of course, going to have a parent. So our node class is going to look something like this. We're going to start with our inner class, and it's a node. And I'm using a T again um, so that the generics don't get confused in Java. So we're going to have our data. That's the thing that we're storing in that particular node that we're going to be using. And then we're going to have um, three um, pointers. We're going to have a pointer to our left child, a pointer to our right child, and a pointer to our parent. So from any node, we can go to the left, we can go to the right, or we can go back up to the parent and see what the parent is doing. And then, of course, for our node, we need to have our constructor. And our constructor is going to look something like this. So here's our node. With the object that we got given to store in the in the node, we set data equal to object. And we set parent left and right are all sorry. Let's do it this way. We set parent equal to left, equal to right, and they're all equal to null. That initiates those so that later on we can set them as we need. So this is our node class for our AVL tree. It's got everything that we need to store the data and to connect left and right uh, children.